Josh, the driving instructor here. How do we adjust our mirrors? This is one of the very first things you're likely to learn in your driving lessons with a driving instructor or anyone else. Now this could take between five and 15 minutes with a driving instructor. If you were the driving instructor, that means learning to actually adjust your mirrors is gonna cost you anywhere between five and 10 pounds. Or we could learn it now for free and use that time more wisely with a driving instructor. So let's go. So anytime we get in a car that anyone else has driven, we have to readjust the mirrors for our seating position. Basically, if we move the seat, we also need to move the mirrors. Now the central one's pretty simple. You get your left hand, you hold the left side of the mirror and you just tilt the mirror until you can see the whole outer rim of the back window. Perfect. But you need to keep your body in a normal seating position. You don't want to grab the mirror with your left hand and start leaning forward because when you sit back down, your mirror's not gonna be in the right place. You do want to grab the mirror with the right hand because that makes me move my body. And again, you'll have to readjust the mirror once you sit back in the right place. You don't wanna use both hands. Again, that'll make you move your body. So left hand is best and try not to touch the mirror because you're just gonna get finger marks all over it and you won't be able to see. Now the central mirror is designed to be able to see the entire rim of the back window. So you, there's no part of the back window that you shouldn't be able to see when you adjust the mirror correctly. Now the side mirrors are a little bit more tricky. So the side mirrors are there designed so you can see what's going on on either side and behind your car. Now there are a couple of blind spots in them and we want to try and minimize those. So that's why we adjust them to the best possible positioning for us. But you can't avoid blind spots altogether. So most modern cars will now have a controller on the driver's side. This car has a slider. If I slide it to the right, it'll adjust the right mirror. If I slide it to the left, it'll adjust the left mirror. Above, it then has a control pad up, down, left, right. Once you slid it to the direction of the mirror that you actually want to control, you then use a control pad to make the mirror go up, down, left, right, just like a Game Boy. Now, how do you actually want to adjust this side mirror? How do you know when that side mirror is perfectly adjusted? There's three main rules to stick by. So the first main rule is we try and make sure that we can see approximately half the sky and half the ground. That way the mirror is going to be around central. Second main rule is to make sure that you can see approximately two fingers of the car. So just put your two fingers next to the mirror. If you can see two fingers of the car, that is going to be approximately the right amount of car to road ratio. And to really simplify it, and I've tried this in three different cars. I've tried this in a Corsa, I've tried this in a Peugeot 208, and I've tried this in a Range Rover. And on a, all three occasions, it works. So try this option. This is the easiest way to do it, especially you've got to repeat it all the time. Just look on this door handle. In the very corner of this door handle, you can see it in the mirror. There's a little triangle where it attaches to the car. If you get that little triangle there, right in the bottom left corner of the mirror, that should be around the sweet spot of the mirror. So I'll show you that now. So if you can see in the mirror right now, I'm just going to adjust this mirror right now. I'm just pressing to the right just to move. We can go up, down, left, right. And I've just moved this mirror just so I could see the front door handle, just the very corner of that handle in the mirror. That should be about perfect. And that should really maximize your view of the road. This is also going to minimize the blind spot and allow you to see as much down the road as possible, minimizing the risk of having any issues. This is going to help reduce the amount of blind spot that there is, and it's going to reduce the risk of you missing anything coming down the road and give you the best possible vision as far away as possible. And that left side is very similar. First of all, make sure we can see approximately half the horizon and half ground. So first I'm gonna slide it across to the left. Just move that mirror up and down. So there is a house in the way, but we're generally trying to get, again, horizon about halfway and road halfway as well. After that, again, we've got the two finger rule. Just make sure we can see approximately two fingers of car in that edge of the mirror. There's not quite two fingers of car there, so I'm just gonna move it out slightly more. So that's probably closer to two fingers. Quite difficult to do with a camera. Finally, the easiest way is just to make sure that we can see just the very triangular corner of that front door handle, let's have a look. There we go. Look at that, right on that very corner of the door handle. That is going to be about the maximum view you're going to get out the side. And this is going to really minimize the blind spots as well. Once again, thank you very much for watching. If this has helped, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to have some more information or you want some step-by-step -step guides, please do have a look at my Patreon. Or if you just want to support me as well, thank you very much. Josh out.